Do you guys see that right there? That bait ball. What's up y'all, I'll start back here today for another video. Today we are taking this to the test. I've never caught a fish on one and I know they work, but I don't know if they work in ponds and I think it's gonna be another challenge. So we're gonna see what we can do on this bait ball right here. Uh, pretty sure it's a live target, yeah, live target. I got like, I got a giant deal for them a long time ago, like probably three years ago and just bought them because you know, I saw them on a deal and wanted them. So I'm throwing this in the truck. We're going to take it over. I'm going to throw it on my little favorite rods USA and lose set up and oh god the lighting's horrible in here but we're getting our rods ready. We're going to go over to Connor's pond. He's actually um he just had surgery on his knee and he's a little uh cripple right now but we're going to go fish with him and see if we can catch any fish and I think they'll actually slay it there so you guys stay tuned, it's going to be a good video, and I'm super hyped to use it. I've never used it before. Well, I've used it once and not caught anything, so stay tuned, y'all. It's going to be a good video. All right, y'all, so we got Cripple over here. I got this freaking insane-looking bait on. I think I've got a hit on it already. But, I mean, it looks really good in the water. I just don't know if the fish near are literally big enough to eat it. I could definitely see them being scared of it. Dude, that is a money spot right lately. Connor just caught one. <laughs> well, you can't bend down and get it. <laughs> yeah, he swam off. I don't think it did. I think it's stuck right there. Ah, that other one, like, it was like in my hand. What like, the heck? Like, it up. What the heck? You look like you got bit by a snake. It's like, it's like right here, like in between this big tree that fell down right here. All right, Connor, you think I'll catch one, man? There is a ton over here. I just, I don't know if they'll like this giant freaking bait in their face. Dude, I'm surprised these fish don't like these little minnows, though. I think that flash in the middle of them kind of scares them. Yeah. Listen to that thing. <laughs> I'm going to slowly go over this tree. These need big mama. Where's Big Mama? Oh wait, she's not in this pond. Wonder what would happen if we threw this on a bed fish. That'd really get him going. Dude, that, I feel like that hybrid pond, I feel like they'd like this. Cause this is what they're like used to eating. You dumb fish. I bet just one of these, if I took it off, would literally like catch so many fish in here. What if I can take this giant white thing off? Nope. Man. Go, go, pro, go, go, go. No. Oh, 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 oh. I finally caught one. Dude. This is a good one for here. That is sick. That is sick. Dude, he slammed it. He slammed it. <laughs> that is insane. Insane. Y'all see this freaking... That is a chunk. Oh yeah, I mean... Oh! You got you got the giant bluegill here, dude. Guys, that is insane. Oh man, we got two huge fish here. 
I love how there's those people across the lake and they just uh, are watching us catch these. Dude, why is that the same size as this bass? <laughs> They're huge. They are. I caught one of them the other day. I'll see you, buddy. Well, challenge completed a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Well, actually, I don't know. I thought it'd be... That's about what I thought it'd be. These will catch some big fish, though, I bet. Especially in a pond. That's like the first fish I've ever caught on a live target lure. I know we don't do good on any of them, any of their stuff. It's just so expensive. I never use it. That, that is freaking awesome, though. He came out of nowhere and smacked it. Well, guys, challenge completed it already. That's good. We completed it this early. Now we're just going to try to catch more fish. And that was like a really good fish for this pond, too. Like a really good one. And that reaction strike there was insane. Guys, I could really see this bait being freaking good in a lake or river whenever the bait fish all school up in the fall or early spring, I believe. And I'm pretty sure it's the spawn soon. Not 100% on that, but I could really see this being a really good lure in the fall, especially because the bass key, up, key in more on bait fish. And, I mean, this just looks like a giant bait ball shad. And, I mean, in most lakes around here, their shad is just loaded, so... I could really see this being like a killer bait. I have used it once in a lake with a ton of shad and it didn't do anything, but the conditions were horrible. It was like the first weekend of October and it was the first cold front. So I could really see this being a good bait actually. And I was casting right out in front of that freaking stick right there. And dude, I caught one every single cast. And then I'd bring, I'd cast out in front of that tree and then like let my lure sit in that little triangle thing right there and we kill them up there too. Oh boy. I gotta watch this. <laughs> That's how you do it. I'm used to doing that, so I know the method. <laughs> this doesn't freaking come out. So you can't get my way? I don't know how to get this out, but Hold on. dude, what the actual heck? The hook isn't in it yet. Can you just snag it and I'll cut it and then retie it so I don't lose that? That's like a really expensive lure. We're getting it back. Thanks, buddy. Here you go. Thanks, man. And she's back. She's back. I just threw that lure back in, guys, and I don't even have it tied on. Because I cut it and I was just going to pull it through. I'm so dumb. Tie it back on, and we're set, guys. That is how you get a lure out of a tree that you don't want to lose. Dude, this is the worst backlash I've had in a long time. This is just a mess, dude. It's just turned into a mess. I'm done. I'm done too. I don't even know how you store these things. Nope. Yep. All right, guys, we're back at the house here. Uh, that it was a pretty quick and short video and to the point, but uh, I we caught them, so we completed that crazy lure challenge. I didn't give it too much time. I only caught one fish on it, but. I mean, it was, it was a pretty good fish for that pond. I know that fish was tiny, but for that pond, it was a good one. And I can really see that bait doing good in like a lake or a river, somewhere where there's shad and, uh, and really any other pond with big fish. And I can see it really doing good and putting the hammer down on them. So, especially in the fall or whenever the bait fish are all schooling up. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a like. It really helps me out. And uh, subscribe if you really want to. So. Stay tuned, I post every two to three days and be ready for some uh, really cool fishing videos coming soon. I'm going to the lake here in a couple days and you guys will see those videos after this one. So stay tuned, it's gonna be the next ones out and uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all at the lake actually.